Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right, so this morning, our morning reading will be coming from Psalms 86 and verse 5. But of course, we know we started on yesterday discussing how to overcome hurt, all right? I want you to know and understand that hurt and the opportunity for offense comes to each and every one of us. My Lord, Jesus said it's sure to come. He said it's impossible, but the offenses will come, my God. So if we know they're going to come, we must we must know what to do and how they handle the offense and their hurt when it tries to show up. Because if we allow that hurt and that strife and the offense to settle in, it's going to surely cause damage and confusion and, and damage relationships and, and all kind of different things, all right? So let's read Psalms 86 and verse 5. It says, For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, my Lord, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Amplify it says, For you, O Lord, are good and ready to forgive our trespasses. Hear it. Sending them away, letting them go completely and forever. My Lord, it says that God is ready to forgive, all right? So since we know that hurt and offense and strife is sure to come and try to trip us up, and it comes, again, it comes to each and every one of us, all right? We must always be ready to forgive, just like our Father. He has set himself to forgive. He's prepared himself. He's equipped himself with forgiveness. Our Father is ready and equipped with forgiveness, all right? So that means we too must be ready and equipped with forgiveness. We must be willing to send it away, send all the strife the offense, the unforgiveness, you must be willing to send it away, hear it, letting it go completely and forever. My God, ready means locked and loaded. I love that, my Lord. I'm locked and loaded with forgiveness, my Lord, means each day, what, I am ready. I'm locked and loaded. Just in case someone tries to act the fool today, I'm ready to forgive, my God. You understand what I'm telling you? Just in case someone says something sideways out their mouth or or someone does something to you at work or or one of your loved ones call you and, it offends, and says something that offends you, my Lord, man, I'm ready to forgive. I refuse to, to hold on to unforgiveness and strife and bitterness. I refuse to hold on to those things, my Lord. So when the hurt comes, always be what? Ready to forgive. Locked and loaded. Amen? Amen. So let's go ahead and take your me on this morning, my Lord. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you, Father. We thank you, Father, for this new day and another opportunity you've given it to us to come to your table to commune with you and one another. And for that, we say thank you. And we take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace and complete wholeness was upon you and with and by your stripes. We were healed, therefore we are healed. We discern your body right now, Lord Jesus. We thank you for all you have done for each and every one of us. And we acknowledge that every time we take communion, all the covenant benefits, and promises are released on the inside of us. In Jesus' name, we take the bread right now and we'd all love it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy and blameless, the righteousness of God, all of our sins, past, present, future sins forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again. And for that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. This is the cup of the blessing, the blood of the new covenant. We love you, Lord Jesus. We take the cup, we drink all of it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Again, I encourage you this morning, be ready to forgive. Now, Lord, on today, I'm talking about today. <laughs> My God. Be ready, equipped, locked and loaded, full of forgiveness. My God, 
you know, just in case somebody, you know, you know, you understand what I'm telling you, my God. But no, I'm ready. I'm ready to begin. You got the food you want to, but I'm already loaded, my God. All right. So let's get our in here confession on this morning. I am who God says I am. I am in Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of God. I am forgiven. I am blameless. I am free. I'm not guilty. I'm accepted. I am loved. I am chosen. I am adopted. I am a child of God. I am whole. I am complete. I am healed. I am blessed. I am favored. I am increasing. I am cared for. I'm walking in authority. I am victorious. I am an overcomer. And here it is. I am heaven bound. Bless God. Now talk to yourself. Point to yourself for a minute. Saying, I forgive you and I release you. My God. Continue to keep growing in his grace. My Lord. I pray to God you understand what you're saying to yourself. That you are releasing yourself. My Lord. That you are forgiving yourself of all the past mess that you got yourself into. My Lord. All right. So, Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. We thank you, Father, for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us. Father, I shout grace, grace to everyone watching online. Father, I thank you, Father, every need of every household is made in full, with abundance and more than enough, Father. And I shout grace, grace to all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies. You are the Lord our God, a healer for us, and we receive that healing because we know you healed them all, Father. And I speak peace to every household right now. Peace and no confusion in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. Thank you for joining us this morning for everyday communion. Hey, Lord willing, back tomorrow to continue to discuss how to overcome hurt. Amen. Amen. I love you guys.